tawag sa Yusef, Department of Importation. Mahilig tayo mag-import. Ilan na nakaka-receive ng hybrid seedlings? And ilan na nakaka-receive ng inbred? So, why, why is this policy na gustong-gusto natin ng hybrids? Mayayaman yung mga binibigyan nyo ng hybrid, but natin binibigyan nyo na mayayaman na yun. Inbred is 30 pesos per kilo. Yung hybrid is 250 pesos per kilo. Hybrid seeds are imported. Inbred seeds are made in the Philippines. Ilan na nakaka-receive ng hybrid seedlings? And ilan na nakaka-receive ng inbred? Uh, considering nagbibigay din ng... Uh, uh, ang ano ang uh, rice competitiveness enhancement fund i just want to know yes uh, madam chair in terms po natin sa area for hybrid ma'am uh, we are covering po 1 million hectares 1 million 16732 uh, ilang par ilang farmer yan normally po kasi uh, madam chair 1 uh, hectare 1 farmer po yung ating Ay, siguro yes, sabi mo to uh, Okay, ilan ilan farmer yan? So 1.6 million farmers. 1 million po for hybrid and for inbred po 1 million 718,582. So 1 million for hybrid and 1 mil 1.7 million for, for inbred. For inbred. Oh. So you're spending so much for hybrid and yet it benefits only 1 million farmer whereas you spend less for inbred it benefits 1.7 million farmers. Tama ba yon? Uh, sobra sobra uh, uh, I just want to clarify that So mas malaki ginagasta natin sa hybrid I, I just want to point this out to USEC Domingo Panganiban That policy of the government That we spend 7.9 billion For hybrid benefiting less farmer And uh, we spend uh, 3.7 billion million for inbred benefiting more farmers. So, doble yung hybrid. So, why why is this policy na gustong-gusto natin ng hybrid? Uh, Madam Chair, ang magano po talaga dito yung productivity level po ng hybrid because we're expecting po na no, matasin dito. If, if uh, depende, kasi uh, the more farmer that will benefit, the better. Yung productivity ng hybrid, pag hindi mo na ibigay ang inputs niyan, hindi rin magpo-produce as, as ano. So, yung mahihirap na farmer, they cannot provide the inputs to make it productive. So, pareho din yan ng inbred. Kasi mahal yan eh. So, parang ako, mas mayayaman yung mga binibigyan nyo ng hybrid. but natin binibigyan nyo na mayayaman na yon. Kasi hindi kaya ng, ng poor farmer yung inputs ng hybrid. And without the, those inputs, hindi naman sila makakaproduce as projected. Oh, tas mas mahal pa yan. Ang inbred is 30 pesos per kilo. Yung hybrid is 250 pesos per kilo. Uh, Kinu-question ko itong policy ng government sa National Rice Program. That, but nila gustong gusto yung hybrid? Eh, eh, hindi ba tinutulungan natin yung mahihirap na farmer? Eh, kung mayayaman naman farmer, hindi naman natin dapat tulungan yung mahihirap. Eh, yung mahihirap cannot afford the inputs of hybrid seeds. Malaki ang requirement niyan sa inputs. So, I just want to question that policy of the government. Uh, na ang laki-laki ng binibigay natin sa hybrid. Tapos, maliit. Uh, alahati eh. 7.9 versus 3.7. Diba? Almost, ano, mas mahal. So, but I'm questioning. It's always in my mind that policy of the government. Why they like hybrid. Oh, eh, ito naman tulong to sa mahihirap na farmer. Eh, hindi naman kaya na mahihirap na farmer maglagay ng malaking inputs. Oo. Eh, but natin naman tutulungan yung mayayaman na farmers. They can take care of themselves. I just want to question that policy. Well, Madam Chair, there are uh, instances in the past that farmers are uh, to select what varieties they want to plant. And most often, the select variety that are high yielding. There are only 15 provinces na binibigyan nyo ng hybrid and there are how many provinces na binibigyan nyo? 15 provinces. Uh, 15 provinces lang yun eh. And then the rest are, ano? Uh, we, shall increase it, we shall increase it to 25 to 30 open for uh, hybrid and inbred. I'm just questioning that policy. I cannot understand that. Yeah, but there are farmers. You will, uh, you will give me an explanation for that because... <laughs> 
I cannot understand that. Kasi ang tinutulungan natin, mahihirap na farmer. Yung mahihirap na farmer cannot spend for the inputs that are required in hybrid. Eh, ba't ka magha-hybrid? Di mas bagay sa kanila inbred. Uh, well, that, that, that's true. That's, and, that's a fact that is happening in the field uh, level. Can we study that policy and explain to me the logic behind that policy? Because it's uh, in the years that I have been chairman of the Senate Committee on Agriculture and Food, that is uh, what is bothering me always. That policy that you give hybrid instead of inbred seeds. Hybrid seeds are imported, inbred seeds are made in the Philippines. If it's made in the Philippines, then the Filipinos will benefit from the production of inbred seeds. Uh, if it's made abroad, they will benefit. Uh, sinasabi nyo productivity, but uh, I doubt it if these small farmers can provide the input for hybrid seeds. Uh, uh, siguro makaka-provide niyan yung mas mayayaman. And, uh, and another question is your policy on using of uh, chemical fertilizer. Kasi sabi nila, 38% of the soil of the Philippines are degraded because of chemical fertilizer. Uh, ano yan eh, after several years of using chemical, na, na di diminish ang fertility of the soil. Whereas, I asked the UNFAO, how do you solve the degradation of the soil? They said, compost all your waste and bring them back to the soil. That's organic. And that can be done by our farmers. That's why I'm always encouraging you to distribute composting facility to all the towns in the Philippines. Para dadating ang time that our farmers can produce their own fertilizer. And we will not rely on imported chemical fertilizer. So that is another policy question for you. And uh, palag kami nag-aaway dyan na, bakit ayaw nyo na turuan ang mga farmer to produce your own fertilizer? Bakit gusto nyo yung imported fertilizer? Gusto nyo yung imported seeds? Ano ba yan? <laughs> May, meron bang lobby dito sa imported fertilizer at imported seeds? Uh, I, I, I'm, 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 that's always bothering me. And as you, you are uh, the policy-making body of DA, I hope you will explain to me why that policy has remained for so long. That has been bothering me for years. Eh, eh, ngayon ko na lang sinasabi kasi <laughs> hindi ko na matiis talaga. So, so please explain to me and I hope you will review that policy. Kasi bakit tayo import ng import? Ano ba maganda sa import? Tawag na tuloy sa, sa ano, Department of Importation. Eh. O, o, tawag sa Music, Department of Importation. <laughs> Mahilig tayo mag-import. Eh, ba't ay turuan yung ating mga kababayan na maging self-sufficient na tayo gumawa. Kayang-kaya uh, eh. Kayang-kaya eh. O, mag-transition lang tayo eh. Mag-transition like, tayo. Like for example, 15.7 ano, 15 billion ng, ang uh, fertilizer binigay nyo sa amin na magdi-distribute ng composting 1 billion. Parang ang layo naman nun. Eh, sinuma ko na sa inyo, nabigyan nyo ng like, composting, magpo-produce 1 ton a month, uh, 12 tons a year, Bawi na yung composting for the year eh. Oh, 1 ton a month, 12 tons a year times uh, 1,000 yun eh. Di 12,000 kilos, 120,000 kilos times, ngayon sabi mo 50, o di 500 plus. Ngayon, bawi na yung composting sa for the year. Walang mawawala sa inyo. Pero binigyan nyo ng 15 billion yung importation, tapos yung pagbibigay sa composting, 1 billion. 1 billion na yun, no? ang budget nyo eh. 4.4, 1 billion pa rin, ginawa ng 15 billion ang budget niyo. Uh, may, may, ba, may, ano eh, may bias towards uh, helping, or may bias sa inbred seeds, may bias sa organic fertilizer that can be produced in the Philippines. Why that bias? Madam Chair, can I? Yes. Yeah. On, the, on your questions with regards to the hybrid rice, kaya po kukunti pa ang mga provinces na nabibigyan natin ng private rice because it's so selective talaga. You cannot grow hybrid rice in all areas. Meron talagang conducive environment by which the hybrid rice can really, you know, grow, uh, you know, uh, uh, produce high, high yields. And that is the reason why we are selecting all those provinces. But if they do produce that yield, it is really 50% to 100% more than the inbred. So, meron na pong mga, mga areas na ganon uh, with all the proper. Yes, Mer meron pong mga studies ng fill rice. Natin, uh, poor farmers, hindi naman natin tinutulungan yung mayayamang farmers. But poor farmers cannot afford the inputs that is required in hybrid rice. Yeah, so Kasi hindi rin yan mapoproduce yung kanyang production kung hindi yeah. malaki ang inputs. Which 
the farmer sabi nga niya, pag nagbigay siya ng ano, a percentage lang ng fertilizer, fertilizer pa lang yon hindi nga niya na ibibigay lahat. Paano ipoproduce? Pero kung hybrid? makukuha po natin talaga yung potential okay, yield yung ng yung hybrid, study, meron po, miss, meron ng mga studies, but it's very selected it's areas. It's bothering me. Uh, uh, you, you submit the study. Kasi yes, it's, yes po. Yeah. Kasi, kasi parang palaging bias sa yes, uh, yes, sa yes, uh, uh, chemical fertilizer na imported, bias sa hybrid seedlings na imported. Why may yeah, bias yeah. sa imported? Bakit hindi na lang ibigay sa lokal? Oh, katulad nung ano, wala kayong masasabi sa akin na ano na yung composting is not a good uh, practice. Walang makaka denounce noon. Even sabi nga ng pill rice, may additives lang doon sa composting. Pwede na rin sa rice. Bakit yes. ipibili ng True. organic no. fertilizer? Totoo Ay, yun. Uh, chemical fertilizer. Ba tayo mag import ng chemical? Di pagproducin natin sila ng organic fertilizer sa Pilipinas. Ma'am, yeah, totoo po yun. That's why we are also encouraging that composting is going to be widespread. Yeah, but 50 billion na... sa, orga... sa chemical, 1 billion sa organic. Okay. We... Eh, nung 4.4 billion ang budget nyo, binigyan nyo kami 1 billion to sa composting. Ngayong 15 billion ang budget nyo, 1 per, billion din na ibinigyan. Di ba bias yun? Yep. Yung performance kasi po ng inorganic fertilizer cannot still be ano, uh, uh, ma, 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 masusuplant sa, ng, ng compost. No, organic. I don't think so. Sa France, they don't use, ano, nagpunta ako sa France eh, they use, uh, ano tawag dito, uh, natural farming. Tinanong ko sila, why are you not using uh, chemical fertilizer? Sabi nila kasi, tataas, yung lahat daw napapagbilhan nila na gulay sa export, gagastahin lang nila kasi yung river nila, pag tinutuluan ng chemical, eh, they have to clean their river. So, bakit pa nila mag-export sila ng katakot-takot tapos yung pera, tamang-tama lang to clean the river. So, nag-natural farming na lang sila. May mga anong ganun eh, study na ganun eh. So, hindi, hindi ko to theory eh. nag interview ako eh. Oo. So, may, may, may disadvantage din ang chemical eh. Oo. So, huwag nyo sasabihin na productivity. Uh, sabi sa akin ng fill rice, kayang-kaya nilang mag-additives lang, pwede yung compost eh. Meron silang ano findings na pwede. Ako naman, hindi ko naman kayo pinagbabawalang uh, mag-import. Pero sana may transition tayo na i-encourage din natin yung local versus import. Hindi naman yung bias na bias tayo sa import. Eh, may mga disadvantages din yan sa ano eh. Kaya sinabi sa akin ng UN foul I, I asked them, how do you solve the degradation of the soil? And they answered, you compose all your waste and bring them back to the soil. That is the solution to the degradation of the soil. I mean, hindi siguro nila sinabi yun sa akin for nothing, di ba? Uh, so, I hope we will review our policy. Kasi hindi naman yan, sobra laki ng import versus yung ability natin to produce yung local. <laughs> Oh. Yes, definitely. Ako naman, I'm not a farmer. I'm just, uh, this is common sense. I'm watching them because that is not my business, but I want to increase the income of.